In April of 1969, the pop supergroup Chicago released their first ever album, self-titled Chicago Transit Authority. Just a month afterward, one of their vocalists, Peter Cetera, very well known as the voice of Chicago, got involved in a very serious fight at a baseball game, and it changed his vocal career forever. Very few people actually wonder what he sounded like while singing before this event happened. And it's actually not common knowledge that there are some recordings of him singing before this. As I just showed, the album was released in April, so you will get an idea as to exactly what he sounded like, as well as the title Prologue and Someday, which were recorded in August of 1968. You can actually hear Peter and what he sounded like before that fight, where he had his jaw wired shut and he was singing through his teeth. Let's see what he says about that. When you talk about the voice, another story I heard, correct me if I'm wrong, broken jaw at Dodger Stadium and you went on tour singing through the... Well, I mean, it took hours in intensive care for a while getting wired back together. Uh, yeah, and then there came, you know, it was warm like this and I had these two, there was a little hole right here between these two teeth. And I start talking like that, you know, because... And, uh, you know, there, there came to be a point when we had commitments, you know. Yeah, and so, but within a matter of time, right? I, I got like two months, and then boom, we're on the road, and I was singing and playing like this, and trying to sing backgrounds with my jaw wired shut. Yeah. So, yeah, and this wasn't just a regular fight between, you know, a civilian and four other civilians. This was four Marines, and my dad is a Marine. I absolutely know what they can be capable of and they easily could have killed him if they wanted to and i have no clue what happened to them or if they're even still alive but <clears throat> in another review there was a caption uh, peter satara got the last laugh which is actually a comment on one of the videos that i'm about to show y'all so since question 67 and 68 was their first single, I figured that one would be appropriate to showcase with his voice before and after that fight. So let's take a listen to the original version from the album. So, as you can see there, it sounds a lot like a lot of other tenor voices that you've probably heard before. Um, some would even compare it to Jeff Coffey or Jason Sheff. <laughs> I know I would have. But after that fight, um, you know, his voice really got um, very broad and signified into um, the voice of Chicago that we know and love now and Robert Lamb has even said there are a lot of tenor voices in rock and roll and none of them sound like Peter's so let's give this a listen So if we scroll down here, one of the biggest comments, which of course now I can't find, 
was actually talking about this was the same year that Peter was brutally beaten by four Marines, all because they didn't like hippies with long hair. And it coincided with what I was talking about a little bit earlier about him having the last laugh. And it, it really solidified his voice, and he really became a big part of Chicago. And honestly, if I were in there back then, in the 80s, I would have done whatever it took to keep him in the band. But, um, yeah, on top of being a vocalist, he's an amazing bass player and a great songwriter, and probably the most criminally underrated of all time. But I'm kind of biased because I'm also a bass player, and I even share a birthday with him. <laughs> so, yeah, but I figured this would be interesting for anyone who either is a Chicago fan or is just getting into Chicago or has never heard of them before. Uh, because I know I was wondering this for a while, um, what he sounded like before he got in that fight. And um, there's, there's quite a difference in the way his voice sounds. In this one, where he went on the road with his jaw wired shut, um, you can hear very clearly that his voice sounds way more broad, and it's very, very distinct. Like, it's un very unmistakable. And Chicago really was lucky that he stuck around for so long. So, I hope y'all found this informative. Um, this, was a, this was a fun little video to put together for y'all. So, if you ever want to know anything else, or you have a question about the topic, or have a suggestion for another video I should make about Chicago, uh, please absolutely let me know. I would love to answer y'all's questions. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I will talk to you all real soon.